says to make nothing out of something. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. Well, and you never thought about it. Everyone was so convinced on the uh, the chorus, man. I don't even remember what he said during the song. I just remember the chorus. No, no, and you I a paper chaser. You got your block on fire, remaining the G until the moment you expire. You know what it is to make nothing out of something. You handle your biz and don't be crying and you're suffering. I just honestly think that your hard drive is a little bit more vast than mine because <laughs> I don't even have that in my mental hard drive, bro. Bro, that's a classic. That is a classic. What's a classic? Uh huh. Oh, come on now. Don't don't even begin to front on Juvenile's High. The actual song? Yes. Classic. When Jay got on it, it became a classic. <laughs> bro, the original <laughs> was a classic, man. That's the reason Jay got on it. I don't know. We're live, though. Live. What's going on? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Games Music Life, episode 17. I'm saying that like a question. Is that right? Yes. Okay, yes. 17. 17.14? Right? 17.14. 17. Well, you know, I'm, I'm fact check that one time for uh, for just for the culture. Yeah, do I it do for it for the culture. culture. I'm telling you, like I said earlier, man, say I'm going to do it for the culture and I got a family are two of the best excuses in the world, man. Yes. Like, I will use it in everything in life. Teflon. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Yes. Episode 17 for clarifications. All right, cool. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Welcome. Um, I can't find the stream here. Before we uh, get too far into this, I want to throw, you know, that big shout out to Nadir on that Android for that oop he tossed me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been slandering the Android since they got the sneakers app. Yeah, man, and, you, were, uh, you were really killing it, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and, so, and, you know, as long as this app continues to be broken, I'm going to continue to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> so bring everybody up to speed. Kevin comes in to get those new uh, the Jordan 12s that came out today. And yes. he was, comes in with this distraught look on his face. I can't get them. The he pain. Was, he was so upset he couldn't get them. Yeah. So I'm like, what are you talking about? I log right into the app, sit down, and bought the shoes within two seconds. Immediately. Because I have Android, and that's the master. I'm, I'm going to let it ride. You okay. know, since, you, since you got the oop on there, yeah. man, I'm going to I'm gonna take that L yeah. and bask in my victory. You have to, man. You have to today. What in the world are we going to play today? Ooh. Now let's start with that Uncharted 4 trailer. All right. We'll oh, yeah, yeah. We do want to watch that. We watch that Uncharted 4 trailer. Tell you what, man. I bought that Need for Speed. Uh, I don't know if it was that one, but uh, I bought one of them. And uh, it's pretty. It's been pretty fun. Really? I was, yeah, they need to make it a, a way so that way I can get the currency a little bit quicker. And, I thought it uh, came out for free though. Where games would go? Uh, I got it on PS4, and uh -huh. uh, and it, it may have been like an older iteration, but the the newest one that came out was on sale for like twenty bucks. Okay, so yeah. I went ahead and grabbed it. I still haven't opened my Xbox One. Man, you need to go ahead and get on that. What are you it's, waiting on? It's chilling in the basement. It's, I'm waiting on finding a receipt. <laughs> 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 Are you really going to take it back? Chilling. I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence. Bruh, do it for the culture, man. Yeah, do it for the culture, man. You know what I'm saying? The, we the just got done saying that, man. Do it for the culture. <laughs> the people need... I mean, it's already at the house, man. Like, the decision's been made. Yeah. And you just... You know what? I think if you take it back, that gift card is void. I know. That's the... That's yeah. The so, I hope, I hope they come and get you. I hope they charge you double if you try to take it back. <laughs> I'm about to give it to my dad, man. Call it a day. Really? Get him in the game, man. No, absolutely not. Oh, let's hear that. <laughs> he I say, yeah, he'll be on the show. Yeah, he'll be on the show. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, if I run into your dad one of the lobbies, I will not take it easy on him. I'll tell you about at it. All. <laughs> at all. Which one are we looking at? Uh, Thieves End Story Trailer. All right. This one came two out two days ago. That's four twenty six. That's the release day of the game. Oh, okay. I had my hard drive locked up. So it's a uh, guard your ears, everybody. Why? Just in case the sound blasts their ears open. Oh, okay. You'll see you know, I don't like think that. that they hear any of the sound that we hear. They do. They do. They hear, the, they hear this. Well, I mean, they get, like, the feed, but I don't think that they get any feedback from the TV. Oh, okay. This game looks amazing. Doesn't it just make you want to just go out with your brother somewhere and just try to find treasure? Absolutely not, because I'm black, and I know I would die early. So I, I, there's no way I'd do this. <laughs> It's why it, you look at it, man. Indiana. That's why James Bond can't be black, man, because it, it doesn't make realistic sense. Yeah. Even though he I wouldn't see, get into the parties. No, he would not go into certain areas. Like he, James <laughs> Bond was one of those guys. He was, he was, he was okay. He was debonair. You know, somebody could be that. But going into like a, a area where you know you probably are gonna die, a black dude would get out of there, man. Not you know. So what we do? Or you know, what I'm saying his cover be blown as soon as he's Absolutely. or he or he get a group moving of right through the party like yeah. Right. Whoa. -ho -ho. <laughs> 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 right, or he would call his boys to go. Look at that, man. That looks good. That's man. too much work. So no, needless to say, me and my oh. brother would never do this. I don't have a brother. I guess you guys are like brothers, but we would never do this. We'd argue first of all. Yeah, we wouldn't even get. On It'd that be a debate before we went in yeah. there, because like who would ride? Who would ride in the back? Yeah, you know, I would. 
No, I know I wouldn't either. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> you know, like, as I said, we'd, we'd argue and we'd get shot. This, yeah. this game would be very ended, man. Man, and uh, while we watch this, I do want to give a quick shout out to all the viewers, man. We appreciate uh, your patronage. I, I do have a question. Uh, well, actually, not even a question, but a statement. Like, Cheddar Boy, every time I see you in the chat, bro, the first thing that I think of is those ads that used to pop up online that said Cheddar gets Cheddar. <laughs> first <laughs> that thing you? that comes to mind, man. Is that you? Are you the Cheddar getting Cheddar? I mean, I'm sure you are. But, man, you had some class guys, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. That looks good, Jay. You guys ready, man? Next month. Oh, yeah. 24. It gets yeah. real. I'm actually going to put a video out of me buying my PS4, too, on the channel. So it'll be a humbling day. I might come with. Yeah, you, I'll probably all go. Yeah. But I'm no hater, man. I'm not like Jay. I, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> ooh, a, I'm a fanboy when it comes to Xbox, <laughs> but I'm not a hater. You know what I mean? I, 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 I can appreciate a great system and game if it's needed. I wish all – I mean, I, I get where the, the platform comes where, um, where everybody, you know, will like their platform because people were upset about that Quantum Break, how Quantum Break, if you buy it for the Xbox One, you get it free on the X, on Windows 10. Yeah. And people were, like, going nuts about that. Like, I don't Why? see because, – be, because it's an elitist thing. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to see other people succeed. I mean, not so much people, but groups. <laughs> I'm seriously, though, man. Like, it's two groups of people I don't mess with. The sneakerheads and gamers. And I'm both. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. I, I try to, I got to move differently. Yeah. Because yeah. people will get upset and, like, try to wave their flag for their, you know, I want to say not race, but their, you know, gaming preferred pre console. Prefer console. Yeah. Fanboyism. Yeah, even though PC bows them all the way. But, um, you know, and, and, and it will just be a big thing. So you get Quantum Break. For free on Windows 10 if you buy it for the Xbox One. To me, that only makes sense. Like, I, what is Quantum Break? What, uh, kind of game is that? what kind of game is it? Yeah, like, what I mean, shoot, I can put it on a trailer. Yeah, and we can watch it. Stifler, what do, what's up, buddy? We're glad to have you here, man. What, what do you know about Quantum Break so far? I just know it's going to be a game that it's a first-party title, but they put a lot of money into it. See, go right here, and it's it's Microsoft's baby right now. They put a lot really? of. Okay. They put, hey, this dude looks like an actual actor. He is. I forget his name. This looks too much like a Deus Ex for me. It kind of does put you in the mindset of Deus Ex. Yeah, it, it, I, I haven't played Deus Ex. I'm just curious. You know what? Deus Ex was uh, billed to be a great game, but got stale really fast. Yeah, okay. it did. I actually didn't even... I, I liked it. It was, Graphically, it was good, but it was real repetitive, so I kind of yeah, put it down. Yeah, that, that was kind of my drawback on it. It got real repetitive. So yeah, I put why do these dudes have X's on their shoulder? Like, what are, are they? Yeah, Sega Poe, we are going to talk about uh, The Division today, sir. We're gonna man, my boy. I play with man. He hates the division. Like he literally, you bring it up, and he like gets upset about it. Jay is moving in that direction at I'm this point. You, man. Yeah, I was gonna say I, you've been moving that direction for a couple weeks. I think the more people, the more that you see it, it, it. I've never seen a game like that. The more you see about it, the more you worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you worry about if it's gonna be any good. That's my thing with the game. So is, I think the beta. How much of the? Well, I guess we can talk about it after Quantum Break. My, but my question is. How much of the gameplay is actual was actually in the beta? Well, I mean, that was actually the game. I thought it was just the multiplayer. I didn't think it was like the actual story or the campaign of the game because I thought that was supposed to be the meat. Of, the meat of the game was supposed to be the uh, the story. It is, but the um, the gameplay, the first the the closed beta had a mission, and then the uh, the, the the public beta that just came out. Like basically, it talks about this. Like he can stop time. Like he's like Neo, man. Like how could you not like this? It definitely looks like it could so be what, sick. Where is he going to do with that gun? He could just stop time and leave. Why does he have to take the gun and look back and look angry? We, we got to play the game to see that. Do you guys worry about first party titles? No, uh, not coming from Nintendo now. All right, but, but I'm saying like with because like most games, like this is a first party title for Microsoft. I'm a little worried about it because they put so much money into it. So they they're putting a lot into it to succeed. Hmm? It's been delayed a lot. That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm okay Hopefully with. They come out with a man. complete game. Absolutely. I'm okay with that. It's almost 50 gigs, 44 gigs. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's that, nothing new. That's nothing new. That's the beauty of the Xbox. You just plug it. See, I didn't want to slander it. I'm not slandering it, okay? I'm just saying that's one of the great things about Microsoft is, I mean, the Xbox, you just plug an external hard drive in the back and keep it pushing. Yeah, yeah. You I know? mean, you can change out the PS4 hard drive. It's you know what? I like got that. I got Madden up here. But who's going to do all that? And er not everybody can do that, though, Jay. You just got to read instructions. Yeah, but everyone's not PC savvy, man. You gotta have some sort. Somebody's gonna trick it off, and you know somebody's gonna try to put like a, a regular SATA hard drive in there. Yeah, and get disappointed. That's absolutely. So no, everybody can't do that. Whereas everybody, and it don't take rocket science to plug something in the back. Good, yeah, you can good do point. that. Good point. You know, 
You know what, Nadir? Go play your sweetheart, Destiny. Do I want to play Destiny today? That's I feel like you fell off from Destiny, man. Did. No, I, 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 I so play hard. with my boys. We play every now and then, man. But it, the game is just not the same, man. You ain't going to run that weekend. Madden? I was playing Madden because. Whoa! I'm going to tell, no, 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 tell you no, why. No, I'm yeah, tell you no, why. I got to know. No, I'm going to tell you why. One of my boys, it's like he was on the PS4. And this is back, you know, back when you had to go to everybody's house on the PS2 and play Madden. I was the king. Like, I was in the top 3% of Madden players. Once it came over to uh, next gen or this current gen, I fell off. I didn't play anymore. So that same friend who I used to thump on on the PS2 version started playing on PS4. Got beastie so, on me. So, he, so he, got, he got his get back on but me. But hold up. Didn't you? Because wait, what system did you and I play Madden on and you, you sent me home pretty sad? It was this one. It was it was it was, it was, it was a three hundred and sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was actually decent on that one, you but really I wasn't good. With good. The Eagles, man. Nah, me and the Eagles, man. We, that's when uh, Mark, I think Mark, Mark was twenty-eight to zero or something. Yeah, I used to thump on you after I uh, crushed you in Street Fighter, and he was like, "Oh, let's play some Madden." I'm like, "All right, I'm pretty good." And then you sent me home with that L and Madden. I forgot all about Street Fighter. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so hurt. Yeah. Oh, you know what? What Dark Souls Three trailer? The Dark Souls see your true colors. I mean, listen, you're the only person here that's going to buy man, that game, man. Just watch it, man. Watch the game. I'm telling okay. you. Sell me. There's, there's no zombies. Did I sell you on Final Fantasy 15? Yes, right? yes, yes. Yes, you did. Turn, you did. You, you did. did turn it it's, around for Final isn't Fantasy 15. Keanu, I promise you, guys. This, <laughs> this is not Keanu. I learned from him. That might be the worst trailer you ever suggested. Because look. <laughs> ever in my life. If y'all ever get a chance, go back. What episode was it that was on? I think like 14. I don't know. I just know we all looked at the screen and it got so quiet. And I think we all, <laughs> all of us in here was like, this is so bad. But we didn't want to hurt Jay's feelings. So after it got done, I was like, listen, yeah, my first day back. the elephant in the room, <laughs> I got to say it. You might have suggested the worst trailer we've and, ever watched. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dark Souls. I, I'll live with that. Now, Dark Souls was that one at um, at E3 last year that had the big, the real nice display, right? Yep. Where, they, right. where it was gushing out with the blood and stuff. Oh, and also that NX, it, that Zelda's coming out with NX. Uh, don't you do that to me. It is. Don't you do that to me. It is. Me. They, they basically all need... they all but confirmed it. So it sounds like I could pretty much skip this Wii U. No. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The day's already ruined, and it hasn't even began. Nah, you should get it, though, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you should just <laughs> get it. I'll get it for the free. Yeah, you should get it. Who wants um, to let it fly for the free? Are you serious? Where mm -hmm. did you read that? I it was um, Polygon had an article on it. Poly I don't fact check, so I don't know what if so it was I mean, Polygon I mean, or somewhere else. Check. It won't. I won't fact check it. Um, but uh, yeah, there is basically. But it makes sense though. Put space and then put colors. I don't know why they're doing that. That's that's frustrating. What Dark Souls Three? What? Then put colors at the end of it. What's colors? That's that's the new trailer. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey man, it, I don't. This is taking uh, yeah. a weird direction, man. Yeah, I don't well, know what colors means. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, see a true color shot. Oh okay. They, they, okay. they play it to that that backdrop. Oh. Uh, is it not on YouTube? It might be True Colors. No, oh, I don't uh, listen. This is, it's getting wild. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is going. I don't know. It's but this is this is helping us out though. But I never played. I never the played these too. because of um, it was too hard, man. How do you play this game? It's too hard. You gotta be patient, man. Listen, man. I put a game on easy and and mo, and I feel good about myself. Well, there is no, there is there it is right there. Uh, Which go one? to the one, two, the fourth one. This one? Yeah. Uh, no, go one over. over. One more. That one. Okay. Yeah, let's see what this is about, bro. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. Can I play with it? See, I don't like that. Look at that. I don't like the trees looking like that. Those are people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. This is on PS4? Yeah. And Xbox too. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah, see, look, I'm not playing that. Nah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. It's, it's not as scary as it looks. It looks scary, Jay. Let me tell you something, man. I grew up in a family where my mom and dad sheltered us. They didn't let us watch scary movies, man. I didn't. Yeah. That's why I am the way I am now. I watch a scary movie, and I, I need to take an hour afterwards and, and just take a walk, man. Yeah. <laughs> just to tell myself it's not real. I'll tell you what. Don't play this game with sound because it's a rap. 
Cause you and you got surround sound down here too, so it's 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 nuts. Yeah, I'm not playing this, man. I'm a, I'm gonna tell you what. As far as those scary movies go, man, like I, I've never really seen any really scary movies, but the one that stuck with me, and they're actually coming with a remake, which I'm on the I fence about, about if I'll too. ever watch it, is it. Nah, I'm gonna yeah, tell you right now. The not it, gonna happen, the it bro. was one of those movies where I watched it, and um, I don't like clowns to this day because of the it. Yo, uh, this isn't that scary though. It looks is, good. It looks. I mean, uh, this part looks kind of okay, but I mean, like, it looked like the sound would get me. I need another Afro Samurai, bro. Yeah, like, I need an Afro Samurai too. I like the Afro Samurai story. game. I'd rather have an Afro Samurai cartoon or movie. No, nah, I need that game, bro, where you could really just slice them up and kind of guide the knife. I need that. It had the sweetest uh, presence, though. And then come to find out, Samuel Jackson was really just his alter ego. That was yeah, pretty dope. Yeah, that was. All right. I mean, it looks good. It's okay. That's cool. I mean, it looks okay. I've never played any of them, so I would, I would I would check it out. I'd red box it. I'd buy it on PC because it'd probably be on sale. Yo, man, uh, I don't. I never want to find out if it floats. Sega Pro. Like I never want to know if the things float down there. Like, yeah, I don't want to get down into that either. I'll play. Yo, some Pennywise Destiny. is the worst ever. And I, I mean, keep in mind, I saw that movie when I was like six, scarred, scarred. What, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like clowns, man. Clowns and balloons. I, I don't do that. Yo, you said balloons? Yeah. Oh, you mean clowns with balloons? No, either or. You don't like balloons? No, dude. Are you serious? What do you mean? What's what do the balloon do they to you? They pop, man. <laughs> what, what, what Yo, hold on! I've never heard that yeah. before. So you, you so you're afraid? You're afraid of the sound? I'm afraid make? of a balloon popping. Yes, and the balloon itself. Because oh. you never know when it can happen. I'm not gonna touch yeah, it. Yeah, you you can't touch it. I'm not gonna touch. Because you touch it, it might pop. You're dead. I don't even uh like, you know, I used to work at uh, I used to work at Magic Mountain as a teenager. So oh, balloons popping. Fears. Yeah, you. you got fears, right? it, like they they blow up in your hand all the time. You're just like. Well, all right, right, move on to the next one. So what else we got as far as gaming news, man? I know uh, Kojima. We did have, okay, so Kojima Studios, they won an award at DICE, and they just left it. Yeah, Shady. Konami won the award for Metal Gear Solid being the best game of the year, and uh, nobody accepted it. They just left it. They let Shady. it lay. So did they did. The did they do the whole, uh, they couldn't be here to accept this award? But no, Kojima was there. He was there. But he just didn't accept it, bro. I told you, man. I'll never buy another Konami game. Uh, first person, it'll have to be bought used, and I'm not paying for any online passes because they'll never see another dollar of my money for the way that yeah, they I'm did not, Hideo. Yeah, I'm not touching it. I'm yeah, never again. That. Never yeah. again. I hope that somebody from Konami is watching this or happens to get their hands on this just to know how you know the people feel. I will oh, yeah. always support Hideo, but never again Konami. I don't. I don't care if you put out the greatest IP ever. Mm -hmm. It will be bought used, so that way you get no money. Question wow. for you guys. Virtual reality. It okay. was huge last year at E3. They're starting to leak or rumor price points. Is it worth it? The VR? For three ninety nine? Three hundred. Uh, no. I think it'll be a passing fad. It's I don't, almost I don't like three D TVs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it yeah. is a lot like three D TVs. Yeah. Every so often tech not, some some sort of tech comes out and it makes you wonder if you're gonna do it or not. Yeah. Think about it. Everybody thought Blu rays was gonna be the next thing. Which it was, but once it came out to where no one really wanted no, um, Blu-ray, physical copies. Well, anymore, well now it's gone to streaming. Yeah, digital yeah. media. Because you figure your games are all Blu-ray, even on the Xbox. Yeah, but I don't buy games either. Yeah, I just right. download them. True. You know? You know, it's funny. I was in a Best Buy. And there, remember their whole middle section used to just be straight CDs? Yeah. It is void of anything that's remotely a CD. They have like a small two racks. I got to be honest <laughs> with you. I'm amazed, I'm amazed Best Buy is still around. Yeah, you know? I'm surprised they can on, operate in that brick and mortar. But you know what? I think that uh, Geek Squad has a lot to do with that. They do. Yeah, really? having having That's a place a where service. they can take their uh, people can take their you know uh, their equipment just to have them take it in the back, mm -hmm. play PlayStation for a little bit, and then come back out and tell them there's nothing that I can do for you. Seventy dollars, <laughs> seventy dollars, please. <laughs> seventy dollars later. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what brought a tear to my eye when I saw the last blockbuster close, man. Man. I used to like Blockbuster Video. Yeah. That was, a, that, was, that was the place, man. Even though you can play, get games for three days for five bucks. I mean, I just like that. And then... Uh, but, I mean, you still got Redbox, man. A lot, lot easier. You know, that line, that line at the Redbox... Redbox survive, man? 
Low overhead, man. They just got yeah. the vending machine. <laughs> you know what I'm they put a color machine outside of CBS. It's, it's the best yeah. thing, in my opinion, because you just go and you put, a, like you said, a Coca-Cola machine. It you, Everything's tied to your credit card. Yep. But so, then you got to take it back to that machine, don't you? You take it to any machine. Yep. Any red box. That, I mean, that's the way that, that, that's what their business model is, because they actually want you to take it to another, ex, another red box. That way, someone else can rent it from that area. So, you can drop it off at any, because, like, my father-in-law will rent a movie back in Dayton and then come up here and return it at the one up here and no oh. problems yeah so especially for gaming what, what's the benefit from Redbox to Gamefly local yeah okay yeah. yo it I, doesn't have the up to date newest stuff though man Gamefly yeah, had so much promise but, I mean now mind you I haven't used that service in a while but yo they never had the good titles available it was like yo put this in my waiting queue and then by the time it was stale six months later it's like oh we're finally shipping this out to you well Gamefly yes Gamefly I never use it I know my boy Sean uses it and uh, he swears by it though yo like, uh, he doesn't buy a lot of games he just likes to he beats them and then sends them back so it works yeah. out for him yeah because nobody trades games anymore do they I, I mean, do. I do sometimes. Yeah, I do. But I'm just yeah. starting to let my collection collect because I'm like one of those gamers where I have to beat the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. And right now, I just don't have time to beat the games that I have. So they're just collecting. Building so the catalog. You're yeah. turning, you're, um, you guys will return, not return them. You guys will um, <laughs> trade them in at GameStop? I, not at GameStop normally. Okay. But uh, I'll, I'll usually uh, kind of uh, shop for the uh, shop for the deals through Cheap Ass Gamer. Okay. And uh, whoever's going to have the best uh, return prices or whoever's running a deal. Uh, I know the uh, Best Buy, their rewards program or whatever, it's called the Gamers Club or whatever they have, they usually can give you a, a pretty good uh, you know, return on those trade-ins and stuff like that. So I usually just kind of wait for those uh, deals to be going on and then trade back some games that I ain't playing and you know, cop some new ones from there. So, Nadia, you're, th now this is a woman. Your character. What no, makes so you that's such a, a woman? That's a, oh, man. It's a man. That's a man. Please oh, okay. don't ever disrespect my hunter. Like okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. I, didn't, I was just going to say, what made you like the, this type of woman? He got the flowing hair, yeah. man. It's purple. Yeah. What are you doing? He's that's pretty cool. What are you doing? From your, I'm using uh, the uh, uh, the Destiny manager, uh, app manager through Chrome. That's pretty sweet. So you just transfer all my gear from one character to another. Well, Chrome just, is another Android product, right? Absolutely. Okay. It's another Android product. It's just like the Android product I use earlier to buy Kevin's shoes. Oh, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. You, I'm, I'm just going to let it ride, man. <laughs> it, it's all good with me. I, I got my shoes, so I'm a, everything's uh, all good with me. Kevin yeah. them Tim's on next week. Nah, they they probably twins. yeah yeah they'll probably come out like these I bought I wore these straight when they got got to, to the house. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, no need to uh, no need to save them. All right, so gaming wise, man, what else what else we got? Pokemon. Yes. You guys excited for that? No. Okay. <laughs> you, you play Pokemon though, didn't you? I do. I love you Pokemon, okay. but I only like the 151 originals. After that, like you lost me. I think they're up to they're up to like 700, 700 between 700 yeah. and a thousand at this point. Okay. I don't know who the rest of these guys are, and I don't like it. I don't like them. So it, give me the original 151 or nothing. So Sun and Moon, there's different Pokemon? I would uh, imagine. Yeah, there, there's going to be. You know how they, they, they stick to the same formula, tried and true. Yeah. Uh, three starter Pokemon. Um, you know, you go around and collect the rest of the Pokemon. On the Pokemon note, though, the Poke Den, Poke Tournament, comes out March 18th. Now, what is that game? Y'all talking about That's that the, last like week. The Tekken Pokemon. Is it going to be on Wii U? Yes. And is it releasing here? Because I know uh, when I saw it, all, everything was for Japan yeah, right now. Yes, for Japan. Yeah. When it I says saw it worldwide. Too. Hmm. Okay, I might, I might have to go ahead and pick up Wii U. Yeah. I'm telling you. Pokemon Anybody want to let one fly for the free? For the free. Hmm. That's for the down. free. That's throw that down right there. You gotta pay, man. You gotta get it, man. I think it's gonna be a good game. The only problem. But is that's not gonna be a good system. You know what I'm saying? Like. Ugh. I want to uh, see how the multiplayer works. The online. Wii, I mean, the Wii U is not a bad system. It has some pretty good games on it. To be honest with you, you just got to give it a shot. Mario Kart. I mean, if, they, if Nintendo just stuck to what they are good at, give me a Zelda, give me a Mario Kart, give me a Mario. I need to know Smash where you Brothers. Found this, this, yeah, I would play. I play a new Smash Bros. I don't fact check Jay, so if you want to look it up, yeah, I need yeah, to look this yeah, up. Yeah, look man. that up. But I don't. I, that ain't enough for me to to you know drop three four hundred dollars on a console, man. Like for one ninety nine, that's a sweet price point, and I would I would go ahead I and pick it's it up. Like two forty nine. Too much. Fifty dollars. Okay. You can refurbish much. one for two hundred. I don't okay. do refurb. Okay. There right, we go. See, I need a new. You're striking down everything. I'm trying yeah, to. Yeah, we're trying to get you in the in We're trying to alley it, man. Yeah. Man, you find me a refurb for about a hundred. Then I'll, I'll go for it, but uh, this orc ship on. 
I got but you, Stifler. I'm pass that. It's out of there. I can't uh, let that fly. But uh, I am excited for that Pokin tournament. That looks uh, that looks really dope. And I really wish that they would come up with a live action, like actual game. You know what I'm saying? Where there was a story and everything. Because uh, the Pokin tournament is. It looks like it's going to be P versus P. But uh, it's going to be a dud. I I think the Pokemon can only succeed on a uh, yeah, on a DS. You think so? I, I think, think it they, makes sense. I think they want it that way, though. Yeah, I think they want it that way, too. But it makes sense to have it on there. Because, I mean, think about it. So we take it out into the wild to where they want you to have a DS. They want Nintendo wants, to, like, when the birth of a kid comes, they get a DS. Yeah. And I mean, for, it's automatic. <laughs> yeah, automatic. You just get one. And they want you to, like, grow up with it and use it. But, but you know a crazy thing? They're saying the DS isn't printing Nintendo that much money. I mean, it's printed enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, I mean, that, that, yeah. that's why Nintendo makes the decisions they make, man. They know that that DS is going to print money, but they can come out with certain titles, and it, it will. Smash Brothers, yeah, it'll just print money. I don't, man, I feel like, man, you still have to have uh, a solid console, man. Like, I don't like know. You got man. nothing without a console. Nintendo has, has made it without it because I mean they've always been a step behind and all. Nah, man, that Wii was booming when it came, bro. Yeah, like, but everybody but, wanted. But that. it wasn't graphic. I mean, their niche wasn't graphics. It was it was gameplay. But at that point, it didn't matter. But with this Wii U, it does. Like they couldn't keep riding that same wave that they got on with the Wii, uh, yeah. and going into the Wii U, and they just kind of missed their cue with this system. They they could have rode that wave. They didn't if they didn't price it like they did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like if they just They're resting on laurels out there. Yeah, let me. Let me go. I need to get on my cheap set. Up Nintendo is a classic. Uh, yeah, you know, I do. I feel like it is a great system for kids. But I mean, at this, it's not like it was, you know, 20 years ago where the kids were the gamers. Like the grownups are the gamers now. I mean, the kids get in on it. But I mean, the adults are the ones who are actually buying this stuff and really going out here supporting I'm it. Worst shotgun sprees ever went on right there. We grew up with these games, man. We're the ones who want them. Well, Nintendo is nostalgic to us because we that was the first system most of us played. Yo, uh, that Sega Genesis man was was a key factor in my life. That Sega Saturn came out, man, and I left them in the dust. I have not looked back at Sega. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, if you Saturn. put out a dud, man, I, I will leave. Like, my nostalgia does not uh, does not earn you cool points. Yeah, I did like that Panzer Dragon though. That was on the Saturn. I thought that was a pretty cool idea, like that rail shooter where you're flying on the dragon with those uh, fireballs. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm I'm not uh, I don't remember that title but uh but I do remember that system not being what uh, what they promised and the Dreamcast looked like it was pretty dope but by that point man it was PlayStation PlayStation 2 time and PlayStation had delivered a, a dope product so I was going to give them a second chance and PlayStation 2 did not disappoint so you know what I'm saying so now I, I ride with the PlayStation man I know Nadir sold 3 PlayStation 3s but uh yep. but you know that's not indicative to uh you know PlayStation 3 not being a good system. Like, that's, that's, it was my, dope. that's my worry with the PS4, man. And the reason why I sold three P- PS4s was that i get one and it would collect dust because there was nothing to play. And plus my uh, group of people that I play with is all on Xbox. Yo, I looked last night, man. I, I hopped on my uh, PlayStation 4 playing that Need for Speed. And to my surprise, I had eight people that were on and rocking, man. Like really? some, of my, some of my normal Xbox crew, actually all of my normal Xbox crew, was all over playing that PS4, man. Like, really? I, I, I think that the uh, that the title shifted, man. I think it's you know shifted. What? I think what they need to do, man, they'll never do it, but they should just open it up where everything's cross-platform. You know? Because some people don't even, for no other reason, don't like playing the Xbox because of the controller. Yeah. You know? So I think they should do that. Just have a cross-platform. I mean, I know it'll never happen, but it's a wishful thing. Can I guess? Yes, please bring back the NFL 2K series, man. Madden has been oh, man. bazura ever since it went away. The NFL 2K series was such ahead of its time, man. I remember Madden was just getting, like, the, the towels on the jerseys. Like, when, when quarterbacks had towels on their in their pants, like, when they were wiping their hands off. 2K had that on 2K5, and Madden didn't get it till like, 2012, you know? you know, I mean, competition breeds greatness, if you ask me. And right now, Madden, with them having the NFL license exclusively, they know that they don't have to put out a great product because there's nothing to compete with it. Like if you want to play football on this, on any system, this has got to be the game that you play. Otherwise you're going to play generic, you know, Oh, I didn't get the heavy. You didn't get the heavy, man. Do we need to call little Nate air down here to get us some help? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No, hey, I'm, yeah. I know that little Nate air is the truth. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. He's good at this, man. But uh, I, I was just going to, you know, I He'll thought you were just making mention of how he's getting body right now. 
Oh, I figured out how to switch us not playing Firewatch. So if you guys are logging in now, we're definitely not playing Firewatch. We're not. Um, so I got that fixed for us. So we are all good. Because you can't play that game that long. It's only five hours. So Yeah, still for NCAA will never come back. There's nah. too much money on the table. Yeah. They should have paid them cats. Is there a lawsuit on the table too? Nah, it's over now. It's over? It'll yeah. They, it they did win, but uh, it, it kind of broke down to like all the players getting like 40 bucks. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it, it, that was just a farce, though, man. I mean, anytime you would, like, I know as Buckeye fans here, everybody would play with Ohio State, and you go on there, and it'd be the, it would be the uh, the player would look exactly like the real player. <laughs> it would. And it would say, like, you know, quarterback, whatever, or you can put in the name, and you would have the player. You download there. that roster. Yeah, so I know cats here, you know, I knew a couple of guys that played, and you did too, uh, Kevin. And it would be like, they would be on the game, but it's like, they're not getting anything from it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> these cats are struggling to eat. Yeah. And uh, it was whack to me. All right, gaming-wise, we got anything else? That is it this week, man. Really? That is, that is the gaming news this week. I think when we get into March, it's going to be crazy. March is going to be crazy. March and April are going to be just you know, I mean, world. If you really look at it, man, we, we gave uh, gaming a good half hour, which is, you know, that's uh, that's been a, a long conversation for Compared yeah. to these last couple of weeks, man, we've only been really having like 10, 15 minutes worth of gaming news. So uh, we had a we had a lot to cover today. So that, like, that's exciting. This is like the calm before the storm, though. It's about yeah. to be real in gaming news. It oh is. yeah. We could, I mean, transferring tra- transitioning into music though. Kanye is naming his next album TurboGrafx 16. So he's going to name it after a system that was supposed to be good, but end up being mediocre. I I'd, I'd actually never even heard of that. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, So it'd be it'd be indicative of another Kanye album. Kanye, if you're out there, can you just give Nate a hug, man? Listen. Just like just me <clears throat> East and all, give him a hug. No. It's not it, I don't I don't need a hug. It's not that at all. Here's the thing though, we were talking about before, you were saying I mean we were kind of just piggybacking on last week talking about the Kanye album and you were saying that uh he's not a rapper. But here's the part that I find disrespectful about it. Kanye knows he's never been a rapper, but he knew he wasn't a rapper enough that he employed people to come in and help him. And no one came in to help him on this album. And and the the bars were just awful. So I think it's lightweight disrespectful he did that. You might have well, a good He's always been there. a producer rapper though. Yeah. He's come with uh he used to still come with uh I, roll tide. I can't let that slide, Who bro. Cussing <laughs> in our chat room? You know what I'm saying? Go Bucks, O H out here, baby. O H. Who's cussing in our chat room? Get him out of here. Yeah, I don't, I don't appreciate that. We appreciate you, yeah. but we don't appreciate that Roll Tide, man. It's, right. it's O-H-I-O out here, man. Alabama. I don't even Alabama. Know Roll Tide. Didn't you see? Well, never mind. We're going to let him ride. I'm going to let you live, man. The Roll Tide is one of the best things, though. No, it's not. It is. It applies to everything. You can get them shoes. I got them shoes for Kevin. He could have said Roll Tide. It was fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Roll Tide. Hey, then Roll Tide to that. Right. Um... But yeah, man, I, I'm not gonna go back into the Kanye stuff again this week because I feel, I got a lot of emails about that too, and a lot of people hitting me up saying I was a little too harsh on it. You were. I was not. I think I need an apology. You, do, you do not at all because you have nothing to do with Kanye. But I I will say I spoke the truth. No, you didn't want to no. hear it. Yeah, you rated it a ninety. What you a ninety one? Ninety one. That's too high. Deserving. You, you can't fifty five. That's too low. Let me ask you this: Have you been listening to that album this week? Yes. yes. Have you been listening to it, Jay? Yeah. Absolutely not. You have not listened to it at all. No, why would I want to? But you were to? humming the tunes upstairs, though, so you don't even It's need catchy. I mean, so if anything, Kanye became some. People do Kanye better than Kanye now. You know what? I mean, he had some good songs on there, man. Like, there ain't no knocking that. No. But overall, the project, I felt like it was a little rushed. I, I wish that Kanye would have had some more time to kind of flesh out those ideas. Well, supposedly the rumor is it's not finished. Yeah, that, that's what I've been hearing. And, uh, you know, if that's the case, that's, that's pretty awesome. I don't, I don't comment on rumors. <laughs> I I hope that it is. I mean, I think that's kind of dope if it is not finished and we get to see his creative process. I think it has to be finished though if he's going to come out with another album this summer. But what I what I don't see what I what I don't like though is the fact that uh, somebody else can steal that idea and do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of, I might have been the worst super ever. Um, somebody else could like steal that idea and think that they can do a creative process like that too. Yeah. I don't want to see everyone's. I'm going to tell you what, I think that Jay Electronic has been releasing his album slowly. Like, I think that uh, the tracks that we get every three or four months, I think <laughs> I think that, you know, in about a year, it'll be like, okay, well, you Man. guys got the project. Well, you know what he said. Here's the album. He said, he said his train may be late, but it's always on time. I, hey, I don't know I what feel he's him. doing. I don't, I don't even. I don't get, I, I like Jay Elect, but what do we have? I mean, he got a couple mixtapes, but 
I don't get the the aura behind him, man. Like he can rap, I get yeah. him, but I don't think he's any better than like he's like one of the goats. Mm. I think he's okay. I think I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Just Blaze, he was he was like, man, people have been after, like the album's out. I mean, the album is done. It's like seventeen tracks, so the album yeah. is ready to go. But Just Blaze is like, mm, nah, not yet. You don't rush Justin. Okay, not yeah. Huh? You don't rush Justin Blaze. Well, no, no, no. Just, no, Just Blaze is like, it's ready to go, but... Uh, Jay ain't ready for Jay it. Jay Electronic is not ready to release it. I mean, we can't yeah. we can't dispute the fact that Jay Electronic, or forget the fact, I mean, that Jay Electronic had dated Erica Badu, so he's all over the place. He got that Baduism on him. Does that rate him as one of the greatest MCs? No, because cause he got into that. I mean, because he... <laughs> I, mean, look, I mean, look at the caliber of artist that you have to be. Yeah, I mean, but, but also, she turns him weird, man. We got a whole con- uh, uh, comment on... We don't, we don't remember about. Electric Circus. No, we don't even talk about it. <laughs> we, don't, we don't even talk about it because how bad it was. Yeah, but He's, I mean, after that, bro, he... B, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he had to go through that, man. Yeah. So hopefully you didn't have to go through that. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. you know, <laughs> no comment there. Yeah. <laughs> Another uh, hove rhyme. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that with the Kanye thing. The I'm, not, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna go back into a lot of it. But I just like I said, I just feel like it's disrespectful the way he did that album. Yeah. I feel like uh, with with his new album being named after a gaming system, he's gonna have to be at E3. So we might get a chance to tell him to if his he's face. At, if he's at E3, we're getting that interview. Yeah, we will. Oh yeah, he's yeah, got to do it for the culture. Questions. What's that? What made you make a sleeper classic like <laughs> Life of Pablo? And he gonna have his security escort me out then. Yeah, because I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add L in there. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna go bad because he's one of my favorite artists. I just think he laid a dud on this. We gonna get the rant, bro. He's gonna get the rant. Yeah, he's gonna he get will, the rant. It probably will not even be about the album. It might just be left field. Yeah. It'll so be everybody, good. stick tuned. We're gonna be live at E3. Yes. I don't know who we're gonna interview. Whoever we want to interview, that's who we're gonna interview. I know who we're not gonna interview is that Madden person. booth. Cause last year's Matt, I'm I might, you, I might, I might go in there and ask him the hard hitting questions. Like you would, you would like, be bro, the one to go in there and ask. Why him. don't y'all let this license fly, man? <laughs> <laughs> let it breathe. Yo, it was you know so, man? it was so, it so somber in there last year, man. It was, and it was giving away food. It was, not, they? yeah, they were I didn't away. want the food. You had. never went in. I didn't. I, no, was, you, I saw the entrance and I saw you and know, the developer. Yeah, and I it was, was like, wow. it was the same developer I seen on like some of the previous videos where he was in there. I didn't have the heart to tell him, like, hey, man, it's the same game. I got the heart. Yeah. I got that you heart do. to tell him, man. You do have the heart. You know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, the icy us, veins, man. It's completely flagged. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> I'd be yeah. like, bro. No, I mean, it's, it's going to be, hey, I might end up being a part of the team, man. After the honest feedback that he gets from me, I'll be like, listen. Somebody needs to stop lying to them. Because yeah. they need that dude that you used to talk about, Nate Air, who tells them, like, look, yo, yeah. this is whack. Everybody needs a, Everybody needs but, that guy that's going to keep him on there, man. Yeah. Somebody that's going to be humble. Like, that's a friend. That's a yeah. true friend. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's a true friend. If you out here bugging, real doing friend. something that ain't Hashtag right, real friends. You, you know what? Do it, man. Because it's, it's not hate. Because it's like, no. I want to see y'all win, Madden. Because a win for y'all is a win for us. Yeah. If you put out a good product, I will enjoy it. Like, there was a time in my life where Madden was, was great. Yo, Madden was it like was a great. religion. Yes, it was great. Like, when Madden came out, girlfriends were upset. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was girlfriends who would not even want their... Like, I know for a fact, like a friend of mine, his, his wife did not like him playing the game. When it came out, she like he budgeted his whole time. Right, matter of fact, they was going to get married yeah. when Madden was coming out. He pushed it back a month. He pushed it back two months just because Madden was coming out. Could be lacking, bro. Still married? No. Question. Okay. No. Well, there you go. <laughs> but that was other. No. No, actually, no. Hold on. No, they're not. No. I lost track with him, so we don't really talk too much anymore. He moved out of out of the state. These are some good questions that uh, the Mr. Will asked. Why should people buy it? It looks the same. I mean, that's a hard. That, that's question. the question we've been asking. That's a hard hitting question. I can't think of a good reason yeah. other than they're not addiction. Gonna be there this year, though, they're huh? not gonna be there this year. They have yeah, nothing to right. present. Not going. Yeah. And I don't understand that because EA's uh, press conference was whack anyway. But yeah, they're not. I think they're not gonna be there because of that. Yeah, yeah. Because they had a huge space. They yeah, had like a huge block of space. Hey, it's smart to buy that up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, it's hopefully Bethesda up. or uh, I hear. Um, oh, Bethesda has a game coming out. Yeah, Bethesda has a, a title coming out and uh, uh, Take Two, or Take two? is it whoever is the uh, the parent company for Rockstar? Okay. Is it the other way around? I thought Take Two was under Rockstar. No, I think Take Two is the parent company to Rockstar. I'm not. I don't fact check. So they. Uh, uh, yeah, we're, th- we're throwing this out there. We it's don't somewhere know. in there, but yeah. they got a big announcement coming for E3, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. I I pray that but, it's a Red Dead Redemption. I think that's what it's going to be. Oh, it might but be. But yeah. honestly, I want to ask. I wanted to ask y'all this though: Is it really going to matter? This is going to be Nintendo's year. 
yeah, this is Nintendo's gonna, make it or break a year. They're gonna sell it up. Man. Listen, Rockstar can't miss, man. They Anytime, it, listen, I I should have a prepaid account with Rockstar, man. I should have them on retainer, so that way when the games are coming out, they're already paid for what, and just at my house the, the second they're released. Is an NX exclusive? Mind blown. Yeah, Mind blown. Nintendo's gonna pay that coin for yeah, something. I don't know what, but they're gonna pay the coin for something. Yeah. You know, because you think about it, that's when Sony had it. When they had um, Grand Theft by themselves, that's when Sony oh, was yeah. king. Oh, yeah. So Nintendo has a chance to do it, man. Like, yo, I still remember that feeling Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, man. Got that call a couple days early, like, yo, it's in. They said let it fly for the pre-orders, man. Really? Get me and Pops, shout out to Pop. <laughs> we went and grabbed that up. You know what I mean? Went that night. He, he told me after school, like, your homework done? Yes, sir. All right, man. They said it's ready. Pew, good, out of there. That's a good dad, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Blessed. Blessings. That's a good dad. But, uh, yeah, man. And PlayStation 2, man, had it on lock. Had it on smash. It's Alpha 1 says they add new small features each year. Last year, they added the new ball catching feature. Hey, Alpha, let me ask you this. Would you rather pay $60 for small features or rather pay like a month-to-month subscription? For them to put those small features in the game. That's the only yeah, way. I mean that feels like an add-on pack, yes. bro. I, I could I could drop maybe like ten dollars. That's the only way Madden's gonna succeed. Yo, EA, I'm gonna talk I to you. I mean, them it's a better it's a better model for EA. If you charge people like what four ninety nine, seven ninety nine a month, I can't pay that keep, monthly, man. You just keep updating the game. I could pay for a pass and get four updates. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, you, or even do that, you like a season pass. Yeah, I, I could let that ride, but I couldn't pay a monthly subscription to EA because like I would feel gypped. If you know what I'm saying, the only way I was getting those uh, those month. Uh, first of all, the game is garbage. So if you made me pay to get those monthly updates that you guys are putting out for like player stats and things like that, like yo. See, with Madden though, too though, the one thing about it is they are one of the biggest games that listens to their community. So when you have a game that has a spectacular catch that's OP, they'll go out and fix it, and then people will complain the other way, yeah. and they'll go out and try to fix it again. So they're trying to reinvent the wheel. Their issue is the fact that you can literally erase a five and put a six back there, and you have the new Madden. It went from 15 to 16 with an eraser, and it was not a different game, man. Right. And I told you, I mean, they're playing it with the guy, with the developer, the, the guy who made the game. His blood, sweat, and tears went into the game. He wasn't even excited No, about he it. wasn't. He was trying to sell me on something, and I, I just didn't have the heart. I was excited about it, being at E3, <laughs> but... I felt defeated when I got on the plane back home, man. I told Jay, like, when you listen, walked away, he had that Jordan cry him. face. Yeah, I had a Jordan cry face. I should have told him, like, listen, bro, this is the same game. Yeah. You know? Ned Ear was visibly hurt. Yeah. <laughs> visibly I'm going to tell hurt. you, I, I, it was like it happened yesterday, man. Jay went to go see another, he went to go see uh, Persona. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm not in Persona. I'm going to go look into Madden. So we met up. At the uh, at one of the booths because I went to go see Madden. Yeah, you came to, you came to the Persona booth. Yeah, you like what's wrong? You like what's wrong? I said, dog, Madden was so bad, man. Like it was so bad. Like it was, it was it was just like it was so bad, and it was just nobody in there. Yeah. You know, it I was, was like, just come over here and record me doing this dance for this free T-shirt, man. Oh, um, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Sh- I, we, we need that. We need that footage, man. Get it. it back. I got it. We need to let I that run. It. We don't need that. Oh, we're gonna put it. I'll put it live. on the channel. We don't. We don't need that live at all. Oh no, no, no. We need, we need that. that the the all. the people want to know. Hey man, Jay was dancing so hard for that team, man. <laughs> like, Listen, that does not need to be let out. Oh, hey, oh, no. he had to kill me. Kill, kill me. Oh man. All so, right. So the album we uh, we listened to this week. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Phantom Sonic. What is it called? Phantogram. Uh, Phantogram. Big Grams is the name of the album. You know what that sounds like. Uh, a prescription at CVS that you're going to pick up. <laughs> I need my script for Phantogram. <laughs> yeah, he a Phantogram script, man. Right on over there. So who's the Phantograms? I wanted to ask you that. Uh, I guess they're like a, an electronic indie group. Okay. And, uh, so, yeah, I, I see that they're in tight with Skrillex. I don't know if they are uh, – I don't know if they're in with, uh, with Mad Decent, that record label. Um, but, yeah, I, I guess that they are independent, uh, you know, kind of dance – electronic group and uh they teamed up with big boy to drop this project uh, big grams uh kind of mashing up those two sounds and uh coming out with the uh, i would say pretty good product um you know first track was a little bit of a struggle I, I, when i was listening to that first track i was like man what am i in for on this mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying just because i big boy's flow was a little off and the beat was a little chippery i don't i don't 
I don't know. Uh, it it was, sounded off. It sounded like it wasn't going to fit. Yeah, it sounded like they were they were trying to force it. Yeah. But uh, as the project kept going, like it got better and better. Like, man, uh, Big Boy was really flexing a lot of real good bars. He sounded real good on a lot of those tracks. The production really uh, complimented what I would consider to be that old outcast uh, Equimini sound, Absolutely. even through Stank yeah, Onya. Absolutely. So, you know, I, I, thought, I thought that that really worked to his advantage. Now, the one thing I will say that I did take away from this project and listening to Big Boy, and uh, and I always feel like this is why Big Boy is always kind of considered a tier below Andre, was that his subject matter on this uh, project, you know, kind of stayed in one lane, one box. He didn't really explore a whole lot of different topics. He stayed to the cool player, which, I mean, I know that's what Big Boy does, but I feel like Andre always kind of brought it out of him to, to talk about something more than you know, uh, Cadillacs and, you know, being a cool player, which is nothing wrong with that. But uh, I, Big Boy's better than that, if you ask me. Uh, like, oh, absolutely. Listen to, like, Speaker Box. Like, yeah. when you listen to that album, man, he had a lot of really, you know what I'm saying, really good topics uh, on there, where on this project it kind of sounded like he was just rapping for the check and he was kind of, not that his lyrics were bad, but he was kind of phoning it in as far as uh, content or substance. Were well, you thinking um, he was just experimenting? Like, not as far as his raps go. Like, I mean, you know, the way that he, stylistically, I would say that, yeah, he was experimenting a bit. But, uh, you know, as far as the substance in his raps go, I, I felt like he kind of phoned it in a little bit there. And uh, that, to me, is why, you know, he kind of always gets considered to be a tier below uh, three stacks just because three stacks isn't afraid to go there. Yeah, but that's yeah, also, that. like, not saying he's, like... That's, but that's not to say he's a yeah, bad rapper. That's a that. high yeah, bar that, yeah, to get Yeah, absolutely. To, you know? I mean, we're talking about one of the GOATs. <laughs> right, and, but right. So that's no knock to Big Boy. Like mm -hmm. I said, a tier below. Absolutely. Whereas, absolutely. whereas I felt like he was just as important to Outkast as Andre ever was. Yeah, absolutely. Is this a silent cry for another Outkast album? From oh, absolutely. Like? Absolutely. Yes. I told yes. you when we talked about it, I said it made me sad because I wanted a new Outkast album after listening yeah. to this. Where's yeah. Andre 3000 at, man? We don't know. I don't know. He, do, he did a random interview with uh, with L.A. <laughs> Reid where he tried to praise that speeding bullet to hell. And uh, I'm just like, Andre, <laughs> buddy, I don't know if you were here when I was here, but mm-mm, uh, mm-mm, buddy. And, and if your music is going to sound like that going forward, then I don't know if I want to hear it, oh, man. Oh, he was praising that Cuddy? Yes. He said How? that was the best new music out right now. He's bugging mm. Uh, like I said, man, it, it must have just been early in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he, he what it was was he went and saw his, his child with Erica because they got a kid, right? Yes, he went, uh, and he went and saw seven. That's what it was. He went and saw Erica. She was probably playing, and she got that voodoo on him again, and he was back <laughs> on that BS. Man. They they actually have a track together, man. Uh, Erica put out on her newest mixtape. But see, that's the weirdest thing about it. She actually makes good music. Oh, Erica but makes the, very good. But music, the guys yeah. that she dates during that time don't. Common was gone, bro. We just got Common back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, That's Jay Electron Don didn't fall. He's he's. You see them videos he put out on Vine? <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, we, we don't he know. might be an alcoholic, but <laughs> but, but uh, he didn't. His rhymes didn't fall off, at least. Yeah. Would you give that Fantagrams though? Uh, that Fantagrams album, I gave it a. Uh, it, it was a pretty short project. I thought that that kind of worked uh, yeah. to its to its yeah. Uh, advantage. Yeah. I gave that album a uh, 78. 78. Yeah, C plus, good music to listen to. Uh, but, you know, if you didn't hear it, it wouldn't, you know, it, you ain't missing much, I would say. But definitely a good uh, good album to listen to if you like uh, Outkast and Big Boy, that whole thing. Yeah, it's only seven tracks. Yeah. 11. Really it was 11. It was 11? It was 11. I thought it was Google seven. Music. Google Music has seven. Ooh, y'all got gypped. Yeah, we did. Chipperoni, yeah, man, that's why y'all need to sign up for that title. Uh, support hashtag, title. Definitely not doing that. Hashtag support title. Definitely not doing that. Um... The seven songs, though, was still more music than that Kanye album, so. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So. Nothing yeah. rides. Yeah, maybe if I quit stinking it up in here, we can get a win. I, I stink yeah, you right can now. Do suck. Yeah, I know. They're talking all kind of bad about you in the chat. Like, like bro, can we here. kick him? Right. <laughs> they will be out of here. So, they did. Where'd you get the Fanagrams album? Um, like I said, say, mirroring kind of what Kevin says, man, I, I after that first track, it picked up a lot of traction, and it was pretty good. I listened to it a couple of times, but it was like I said, it was a short album, but it was uh, it was definitely they they go to go together well. Kind of like, it mirrored kind of like the mashup that uh, Lincoln Park had with Jay Z, mm -hmm. how people were worried That's about it, yeah. but the sound was good, and like I said, it made me sad, man, because I want a new Outkast album. I could just, I was listening to the album, just waiting for 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 three stacks to come on, and then the track with Run the Jewels, and if you guys don't know about Run the Jewels, 
Go listen to them. Yes, they're very good. Killer Mike. Yeah, Killer Mike is one of the most slept on rappers, man. And that's the thing. Like, it was, he's been slept on for a while. He was yeah. going to be the third member of Outkast for the longest. We all. He's kind of like kind of how French Montana is with MMG. He was always accepted into them. Yeah. Um. But I, I listened to it expecting for Three Stacks to come on a song and rap instead of singing like he did on the Kanye's album. Thirty hours. <laughs> yo, I'm still yeah, Virgil. <laughs> Never call Yeways in the booth again, man. Because no. clearly your was your phone calls are too. Uh, was, Gabriel. was it Gabriel? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, he he. Yeah, Whoever he it was, man. Home. Like you're clearly too important. Yeah, but I, I gave it a um, eighty one, man. Okay. Uh, like I thought it was very good. I I um, I enjoyed it. I think it was it was good. It was sonically it was good. Big Boy was rapping his butt off as usual. Yeah. You know he was actually. I mean, Big Boy doesn't talk about it, you know, a lot, yeah, a lot, but yeah. you know, but he's he's Atlanta. He, did he, he sticks to Atlanta, you know. So I gave it an eighty one. I gave it a uh, seventy nine. Okay. It was good. It, it's 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 an album that if you're going on a road trip and you've never heard them before, it's a good let it put roll. in and just let it roll. Yeah. You know. Um sonically good. I like Big Boy on there. I was worried about the mashup in the beginning, but I, I like it. I mean, that's why you can never not give that stuff a chance. I mean you gotta give it a chance, give it a listen to. Yeah. So definitely a, a, a good album. Would I listen to it again? Well, probably not, but because it's, it's going to make me yearn for an Outkast album. Yeah, and I don't want I don't want them thoughts in my head. You have to, man. We got to keep hope alive for that. We it's did, one of the best. Gotta, as you say, do it for like culture. Do it for Hashtag culture, man. Do it for yeah. culture. The, you know, um, need to get Andre back in that pocket. I know he said that well, he, he didn't want to make music anymore. Well, he said that he didn't want to rap anymore. He was like, oh, I don't know, man. I feel like it, it'll get stale. It'll get stale. But, like, yo, people want a new Outkast album. And you know what? They promised this one. They promised this one. Like, it turned into detox. Yeah, but he says he doesn't want to rap anymore. But even on Love Below, it was a lot of singing, a lot of harmony. But he rapped, too. He rapped, yeah. yeah but, I'm, I mean, they promised us an album. And I want that album. Now, you didn't. It's detox status now. Is, uh, our, is Outkast the best hip-hop group? One of, I would have to give them one of. I yeah, mean, definitely one of. But who's the best? Who's who? We say Wu Tang. Are we talking groups or duos? Just groups. Yeah, just, just groups. Duos, just groups. Then I think they're the best. But duo. they're a group too, though. Wait, I mean, but it's always been just those two, though. Well, I let's mean, just say, let's just say, do, let's include duos with groups mm-hmm. as a group. Okay. So would they be the best group of all time? Best hip hop group of all time? I'm trying to think, man. Who? Uh, I don't, they've always brought out. How many classics products. do they have? Let's pull up their discography. I mean, I can tell you right now, uh, Southern Playalistic, AT Aliens. Yeah, AT Aliens, yeah, definitely. Uh, Stankonia, or I'm sorry, not before Stankonia, or, yeah. Equimini? Equimini. Equimini, yeah. Stankonia, uh, Speaker Box, Love Below, and that is where their discography stops. So what What hip-hop group has more? People always want to throw in Wu-Tang, but Wu-Tang actually I didn't had. actually care for Wu-Tang a whole lot. Idlewild. Idlewild, that was a soundtrack. Yeah, soundtrack. We'll, yeah, we'll give it. We'll give it to you know. I like that movie though. Yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah, I don't know, but sometimes I don't know if I gave it props just because I love Outkast so much, or if that it's, movie was you know, bad. It was decent. It wasn't that bad. That movie was bad. I, for what it was, it was. I thought what it was a alright movie. Eighty or fifty-five. I don't remember. Go ahead, put it out there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because you know they rapped on there and they actually it was hip hop. But I just think the movie was bad. But I think, like Kevin said, that we watched it. Because it was Outkast. At that point, Outkast couldn't do any wrong. Yeah. So if we look at their albums, they don't have a real. They don't have a brick out there. Yeah, they don't have a brick. Yeah. So I would say, yeah. I mean, because I, I, I don't know if I can say Wu Tang or not. The max Wu-Tang level is- alpha, to answer your question, somebody's in here asking about Destiny. You know, I, I definitely cape for that. Uh, it's 40. Stop doing and, it. And it's definitely... It's, about Destiny. Destiny's repetitive, but it's one of those games where you get you a good community of people. Look me up, too, Alpha. Add me, 360. Nail over 360 on uh, Xbox One. Okay, community's not going to make you play a game. Yes, it is, it man. It just has no content. Listen, there uh, is content here. I don't yeah. know, man. It's the it's the same first-person shooter of any first-person shooter, yeah, man. this looks like Call of Duty. It does not look... Like Call, Call of Duty is the same game. It's like Call of Duty in space. No, it's not it. Yeah, you <laughs> Call of Duty in space? It's not, it's not it at all. Glowing orbs. No. Nope, not even close. You're gonna defend this sucker till you. Destiny's a good game. It, it is. I'm, I'm hating. Yeah, I'm, you are. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you admitted it. I'm hating. It. A little bit. I have Destiny. I'm glad you admitted it. I'm hating. Shout out uh, Delvon for backpacking me through Destiny to get my uh, get my level up. Man. Which did did you a, a horrible disservice because you still don't know what you're playing. Yeah, I do. It's a first person fake RPG shooter. I am gonna say it's a fake RPG. This is not an RPG at all. You have two stats. No, nah, it's more of like MMO. They're yeah. trying to get it to it's MMO. Like a, yeah, it's an MMO, but it's not. I wouldn't oh my god! You don't like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like when I look at you play this right now, I would much rather play Duty. 
or go to sleep. Which one would you rather do? Play Dookie or go to sleep? Oh, big um big Will said Eric B and Rakim. Oh yeah, that's You know, I hate the fact that Rakim is throwing shade at Eric B now talking about Eric B held him back. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. I promise he you. He did? Yes. That's like He's, your parents fighting, man. You right. Don't, you don't, you don't want to see that. Does he have a new uh, reality show on TV? I, I can't. Uh, Rakim Allah could not possibly have a, a reality show, but he is putting it out there that uh, he felt like Eric B. held him back. Why? I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. I felt like Eric B was responsible for a lot oh, of the. So are, are y'all I'm about to say are y'all glitching right now, or, yeah, or is lagging. that a feature in the game? No, it's lagging. Something's going on. Like this hey, guy you're, right here. That's you're garbage. Tag Nehova for this. Nehova three hundred and sixty. Yes. Yeah. Eric B. Rakim's a good one, but I think Outkast might be the best hip hop group of all time, man. With Outkast a consistent might be. product, yeah. Just period. Because Wu Tang is really, they had too much quantity. Wu Tang was like that Kanye album. You know what? I would have to give Run DMC their props. You know what? I will have to give them their props. I mean, they pioneered it. They're like the grandparents. But, hey, I mean, I could still listen to their music, and it was dope. But, I mean, if you even want to go back that far, I mean, uh, Jazz Jeff and the Fresh Prince, man, like Summertime is a classic still. What else do they have besides that? Parents just don't understand? That album? Is that what the same album? Criss Cross. Uh, I think that was the next album. Criss Cross? No, I can't. Uh Uh-uh. You can walk home. <laughs> say something like that again. <laughs> like, uh, Don't throw kid and play at me, bro. <laughs> kid and play? They had to dance, bro. But uh, kid and play was hot. Hey, kid and play at movies. Yo, they bro. Had I, movies and music. Tell me the tell me the songs that they had, bro. Exactly. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I won't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know you the go. cadence. We don't know. Yeah. Well, did they rap? They did yeah, something. Something. They did Hold something. On, did kid play rap? Yes. I do believe so. I oh, mean, they had albums. Quest. Tribe yeah, Tribe, yo. Tribe was so yes, dope. Tribe, tribe, tribe was so yeah. dope. Yeah. Tribe yes, was Tribe you was definitely dope. You got a new friend dope. in your community, Nadir. Join well, up, he'll man. Be, he'll be bored with you playing this He game. won't be bored. He'll get, he'll get into a pack of guys that's cool and play the game, man. Have some fun <laughs> with us. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, it's, hard to, it's hard to say who was the best. Outcast definitely has a good argument just because of the legacy. Maybe yes. you can separate it into time frames. I guess you could. I guess you definitely could. No, but that's could. the thing, though, because Outkast music they span is not a dated, lot. though. It, it yeah. You can listen to it to this day, and it's still... Oh, it's Southern Playlistic still dope. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. I listened to uh, Get Up, Get Out, and Get Something the other day. Like, yo, and CeeLo, man, return to form, bro. Like, you had some bars on hey, there. I'm going to tell you, CeeLo on that... Uh, was it the Rick Ross album we reviewed? Yeah. When CeeLo was on there, that the Mama, that. Mama Cry... Yo, he was yuling on that thing. What, what did I tell you? If you take Rick Ross off that album, that's like a B plus album. <laughs> you just don't like Rick Ross. No. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You just don't nah, like Ross. No, Ross Cheeseburger. Uh-huh. That, album, that album was a B plus album. Man, Ross pretty much is the production king at this point. He could pick beats, man. Yeah. But he's, I, I'm not gonna waste no more minutes on Rick Ross. <laughs> man, I'll uh, I'll throw this out here. Okay, so uh, so now we got. Kanye out of the way, so uh, Views from the Six is going to be the next big hip hop project uh, coming up. Is he going to put a Meek Mill's diss track on there? I think that he might be done with that as far as the album goes. Cause I don't know that Summer Sixteen horse. is going to go. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. And right now, Meek can't defend himself. He, you know, uh, that house arrest. He's not allowed oh, to record a, music for three months. You know what's interesting though? What's that? Um, I was going to call her Rihanna, Nicki Minaj. Cause she's like on she's, like a, a crew is not really like a crew back in the day. So like for example, the Rockefeller uh, Dynasty, the, the Rockefeller um, Locks beef or whatever. Yeah. Like for example, you go at Chic Luch, you're going to Kiss and Styles P too. Oh yeah. Whereas things these days is more individualized. I don't you know. know. What I mean? So like in the old days, you figure Meek Mill's diss Drake, it's then MMG. Wayne come out. It's too M M G Y M. It's a it's cultural like, thing. It's kind of like it, it carries out like in sports, man. Like there was people, there were groups who just didn't like each other. So just I mean, I don't know though, because then Ross started throwing shots, and uh, now Birdman's not not uh, you know what I'm saying very happy with Ross. Uh, I feel like Nikki is kind of on the outs of Y M C M B. Like if you really look, yeah, but the rest of the crew is not fooling with her. Yeah, like, because I Drake think, Drake's not involved with her. No, Wayne doesn't really no. get involved with her anymore. You know why? Because she's a female artist, man. She's not. Female yeah, rap, she, she can't. Is, is, she took it as, as far as she can take it, as Tell far as what, it can go. I'm Hashtag like Sean Price, bro. Sean Price, I don't listen to no female rappers. <laughs> no, I don't. Man. None of them. <laughs> I think she took she took that. Yeah, we do she, need Lauren back. Too. She took yeah. that as far as she could take it. 
female yeah. rap. And she took it, and then she turned pop. But you know what? I feel like uh, Rhapsody is a breath of fresh air. So, I mean, the lane does exist. Yeah, but is she but never going to blow? She's going to be on songs. She's going to be on like be featured on a song and be good, but she'll never come out with an album and blow up like a like a like a male artist could. I guess you would have to look at it as how you would consider success. I feel like if you're respected amongst your peers, then that is going to be, you know, enough credit for her. Like I mean, she may never have huge singles uh, much like a Janelle Monet, but she's, you know, respected amongst the music community. Yeah, Janelle Monet uh, is pretty good. Yo, she's dope. She's got like uh, she's got some I really like her vibe. She got good. And she, she got, got a lot of really dope songs. Yeah. I feel like she kind of sold out a little bit on this last project. Like when I heard that yoga song, I was like, yeah, you're kind of pandering at this point. Yeah, but uh, also, stay in your lane, but we still didn't win. We um but also Janelle Monet never compromised herself and sold sex either yeah that's true you know that's true and i think a lot of female artists that's what they, they kind of they play it like that because i mean that's their angle yeah alpha i play black ops 3 i don't uh, these guys don't but uh if you want to add me uh i'm tup killer rambo with the uh, underscore between or just that's a space a long username. hey man it's necessary when you're a beast oh side note follow side us note? on twitter we're at 50 people on twitter Half yeah. so Follow us on Twitter. It's the same one, all of them. On Instagram, YouTube, YouTube everything is Instagram, Games Music Life. At Games Music Life, Instagram, at Games Music Life, Twitter, at Games Music Life, YouTube, and at Games Music Life on Twitch. And Follow Instagram. On, and Instagram. And on the gram. Is the Facebook up yet? No, nah, man. Facebook, Facebook is, that's that's dated technology. What, uh, what? Until Zuck gives Kanye the billion dollars or invests the billion dollars in Kanye West ideas, we don't support Facebook over well, here at Game well, Music uh, Live. I think we'll have, we'll have a boatload of content to put on Facebook once we come back from uh, E3. Uh, I'll leave it to y'all. Yeah, because okay. Facebook well, takes over your phone and your, and your world. Well, so we're, I'm not going to put it on my phone. I'll never do that. Yeah. Um, to be determined for Facebook. Once again, we thank everybody for showing up. Today is supporting the stream. Hold on, what are we reviewing next week? Uh, yes. I thought you guys were reviewing. BJ Chicago movie. Kid. Yes, BJ Chicago Kid. What was the name of that album? Yeah. I saw it the other day because it had a really interesting looking cover. And again, Nadir, that is how music finds me. Absolutely. If it looks interesting, I'll listen for a little while. And uh, if it sounds good, then I stick with it. It works for you because you've bring some good one to the to the group man oh young lean has put out another album uh, don't uh if you ever are just bored and searching you youtube uh look up uh young lean uh, i can't remember the names but like yo he had a he had a cool sound for in my mind two minutes. Is, the, is the name of that uh in my bj mind. the chicago kid album okay in my perfect mind. so we'll review that so you get a chance um welcome alpha definitely good interaction today too thanks for being a part of it and just like everybody else thanks for being here um but we review an album every week. We like for you guys to listen to it. Tell us what you think. Excuse me. We'll give our review on it as well. And we'll definitely have a lot more gaming stuff to talk about. Um, but anybody's listening, we play everything. So if you have a if you have a question that we didn't answer today, leave a comment under the YouTube link um, under the YouTube video. I'm sorry for this week. And uh, we'll try to answer it on next week's show. Yes, absolutely. We'll definitely do that. Or hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, any of those. Uh, you know, any of those. Yeah, uh, we we'll reply to everything. media forms and uh, we would be more than happy to uh, discuss whatever you guys want to hear us talk about and uh, you know we appreciate y'all for rocking with us man we'll keep rocking with y'all 17 episodes deep so what's that we were a little over four months in now yeah something like that yeah uh, man and it's getting better every week i don't uh, fact check or i don't do math so you guys do <laughs> all i do is, is the math on these j's <laughs> oh my god baby <laughs> all right well, thanks for everybody for joining up man we'll see everybody thanks. next week peace peace, peace.